Hello my friends, William Poloniak here again at Whole Health Foundation. Today I'm making another juice because I've run out of juice again. And today's juice is going to be mostly carrots, a few collard greens, some tomatoes and cucumbers, and a few other ingredients. Let's look at my other ingredients. Here you will see I have a lot of cucumber, a full head of celery, mostly tomato, carrots of course, I'm putting in one ripe jalapeno pepper, some garlic, ginger, and one avocado seed. I'll bet you didn't know you could juice avocado seeds. They're full of nutrition. So let's make some juice. As usual, I'm going to plug in my thermometer and start with three ice cubes to cool down my cutter. And I'm going to start with colored greens. Celery. Some tomatoes, these are a little too big, so I'm going to cut them in half. Remember to always keep this covered. I don't want to risk the blow back. Cucumbers, and this looks too big, so I'm going to cut this in half. Cucumbers, be very careful because it's very liquid and it, would blow, it will blow back if you're not careful. Tomatoes also are very liquid, so always keep your feet tube covered. More celery. So three more ice cubes. At the last minute, I decided to add one bead and some turmeric. My pepper. Pepper helps all other nutrients be absorbed better. with carrots, so I'll feed two carrots in. You always feed the big end in first, but since these are smaller, I'll reverse them, put two in at a time. After you feed in your first two carrots, clean the juicing grid that has larger holes, so it's better for greens, and switch to your number two grid that's better for carrots. Now we'll continue with carrots until we're done. I'm down to my last carrot. I want to remind you, there's always a plug of produce in here, usually a carrot. So you put some pulp in there and push that last plug through. Now the next step is to clean the feed tube, put the pulp in the bowl, and then mix the pulp and make some juice. So let's do that now. Remove the thermometer. Remove any pulp that's left on the cutter. Clean the feed tube and continue. The next step is to mix all your produce so you get a really thorough mix. And whenever you have carrots in your mix, you don't need to use a bamboo liner. You use a bamboo liner for only pure fruit juice or pure greens juice. So you want to rotate the bowl in both directions so you have a really, really good mix. And then continue with your juicing. Alright, I'm going to start my six cloth method. 
my less work six cloth method and I'll demonstrate that here. So three scoops, approximately a cup full. You don't want your cloths to be too full and I like to press two cloths. You could do three cloths but it takes less time to do two cloths at one time. Continuing with my less work six cloth method, two full cloths full of pulp go in the chamber centered left to right, front to back. One of the advantages of being able to see on this side is you can see if they're centered. All the way back, back it off a little bit, turn on the machine. This goes over and continue filling your cloths. When you're down to your last cloth, advance it all the way and continue. And here's my less work six cloth method. This goes over, this goes forward, the spent cloths go on top. And because I have some puddling in the juice bowl, I'm going to take this pulp, crumble it up and put it in the puddle of juice in the bowl, and then continue filling my cloths. Let's all the way back, back it off a little bit. Again, I've got a puddle of juice in the bowl, probably from the cucumbers being so liquid. So crumble up, put the spent pulp in the puddle, and continue. This goes forward, this goes over, the spent cloths go on top. And this goes in your tray, centered left to right, front to back. And because we have a lot of juice in the bowl, let's do that all the way forward, back it off a little bit. I'm going to very, very carefully pour that into the collection bowl. I'm going to try not to spill that. And then continue. Now this time, instead of putting the spent pulp in the bowl, I'm going to put new pulp on top of the old pulp, but only two spoons full. This patty is going to be getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Flatten that, that's very important. On your last cloth, advance it all the way. Keep your eye on the bowl because it's getting very, very full. And then two more scoops on top of the old pulp. And pull it into as tight a package as you can get. The tighter the better. Pull this forward, that goes over. Your spent pulp goes on top. Now because this is full, I'm going to transfer that into bottles. Now your juice tray should go back, but not a little bit. You will forget and you'll damage your tray, so push it back a lot to make it obvious. So let's put this into bottles. I'm going to fill this from the back side so the camera gets a good view of what I'm doing. And notice I'm not filling it to the very top because I'm going to top this off with either filtered or distilled water. Now because this patty here is very thick, I'm only going to put one scoop of pulp on top. Pull that into as tight a package as possible, advance that all the way. So I could have waited a bit to advance that, but when you're on your last cloth, make sure you advance that all the way. So here we'll put one scoop of pulp. Well, we don't have much pulp left, so let's put all of it on the last cloth. That pulp goes on top and this goes in the juicing chamber. Centered left to right, left to back, all the way back, back it off. Now I'm going to form this spent pulp into a tight ball and press it again to show you how much more juice we can get because of the solid bottom plate on a whole health foundation model juicer. So pull that into a tight package. And notice my folding technique where I fold it under. To minimize slippage, we'll do that in both directions. Turn it upside down, flatten it, set it aside, advance that all the way. What I've done now is I've formed all of the spent pulp into a tight package, formed the pulp into a ball and repackaged it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure how much juice we can get from this reprocessed, repackaged pulp using a whole health foundation model juicer with the solid bottom plate. 
and you can get more than 10% more juice. So let's start it up all the way back. And this time, when we get juice flow, I'm going to back it off because you do not want that to go up too fast. So we'll back it off a little bit. Advance it a little bit more. And then all the way. So far we have two ounces and it's still flowing. There's four ounces. Let's put in two more cloths for the pulp. Again, center, left to right, front to back. Very important for it to be in the center, especially when you're repackaging. All the way back, and as soon as we get juice flow, I'm going to back that off a little bit. You do not want this to go up too fast. Cloths are very, very slippery, especially if you're doing fruit. With vegetable juice, with carrots in the pulp, it's not that bad. So that's a little more, and then all the way. Well, it looks like 17 ounces from repackaged pulp. Now, your best nutrients and your most important nutrients are in your last 10% of your pressing, especially if you're trying to heal your body from cancer or rejuvenate. So there we have it. I'm going to pour this into the bowl. Well, as you can see, my friends, I got 5, 10, 15, 16 bottles of juice and 22 ounces I got from pressing the pulp again with the Whole Health Foundation juicer and I still have a little bit left over for a taste test. So let's do a taste test. Well, here you have some juice for a taste test. Let's taste it. As usual, delicious. A lot of cucumber that's very good for the hair, the nails, and the skin. The pepper I put in it is hardly noticeable, but pepper does help all other nutrients get absorbed better. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. Here's your health. Ah, that's delicious. See you in the next video.